Are you feeling patriotic this July? Here in the United States, we take our Independence Day very seriously. We have lots of hot dogs, wave miniature flags, and above all else, try our hardest to obliterate that stupid ozone layer. But why should the festivities stop there? We as video game collectors can take it a step further. Today, I wanna to tell you about five games that will better you both as a collector and as a patriot. Go grab a cheeseburger and a 10 gallon hat and let me tell you how you can be more festive this July 4th regardless of what country you're in. As much as I wanted to include 1997's Independence Day on this list, it's a pretty dirt common game and very affordable. Grab that one after you grab these other five games if you're still needing more America in your life. But let's kick it off with a game that represents a patriot we could all only strive to be. Captain America and the Avengers for the Sega Genesis. Who is more American than Steve freaking Rogers? Stars and Stripes are in his blood and he would do anything for his country. This title released on multiple other consoles too. It was on Game Boy, NES, Game Gear, and Super Nintendo. But today I want to talk specifically about the Genesis version. It's not the rarest of the bunch, that honor has to go to the Game Boy, good luck finding that one CIB. Now this one is cool because it came with a freaking Captain America pin inside. I mean look at this thing. If you had multiple consoles back in the day, why would you pick any other platform to play this game on? You want the cool release that came with the bonus collector's pin. Surprisingly, this pin is not that hard to find in 2024. You can get yourself a copy of this game with the pin for as little as $100 if you're patient. As a comic book fan, I think this is an incredibly cool thing to own. Here's one you might not know about for a more modern platform. This is an educational title that released on 3DS and Wii, and for one reason or another, it's pretty uncommon and thus sought after. The game is called American Mensa Academy, where I can imagine they teach you about the wingspan of the bald eagle and quiz you on the release date of Creed's first album. I'll tell you why this is one of the most patriotic games you could possibly add to your collection this July. While this game did release in Europe and maybe even Australia, the game was simply titled Mensa Academy. It wasn't until it touched down in the great land of freedom that the game would receive the word America right at the front of the title. American Mensa Academy. What a strong Wii name. At one point this title was selling for nearly $400, I kid you not. I don't know why it ever got that high back in 2017 or why it crashed so hard a year later, but nowadays the game fetches a solid 70 if you're patient. It's not too crazy, but I do think it's kind of scarce and it will certainly go up. Maybe not to $400 again, but who knows. Now back on an older platform, let's talk about another game that directly calls out the home of the brave in its title, the late release NES game Race America. This title really brings out the love for America as you travel clear across the country from New York to LA with your red hot American muscle car racing dudes like Derek Stetson, the Texan who hoards racers like cattle. Yee doggy. This game literally has a Dodge Viper on the cover and it's represented in the game as you can see with that V10 engine right here. I mean this game is a contender for most American video game period the way that US flag takes over the entire box art. Overall it doesn't look like a bad racing game but let's be real you're not playing this you're putting it on your shelf right next to your bust of Abraham Lincoln, so let's talk prices. I mentioned it was a late release NES game, and those usually have a price reflecting that. Race America came to the US in 1992, and 32 years later, it's gonna cost you around 70 or 80 for a loose cartridge. True Americans want that complete in box copy though, and that's probably gonna cost you anywhere from two to 300 for a fully complete one with all inserts. It's definitely got a poster and a registration card among other inserts, so be wary of that. Okay, this one is insanely rare and expensive, and it's widely known about, and it's almost the most patriotic game on this list. The next game I want to talk about today is Daytona USA, a game that places the great US of A right in the title. But not just any version of Daytona. We're talking about Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition. But we're not just talking about Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition. This is Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition Netlink Edition and Knuckles. Have you ever witnessed a title with the word edition in it twice? 
So what exactly is the Netlink Edition? This was an updated release of the game that you could buy to play the game online via the Sega Netlink Adapter, which is a fancy name for the console's internet modem. You plugged it right into the Saturn's cartridge slot and hooked it up to the phone line in the wall and voila, you're racing people all over the country. Pretty revolutionary for a console in the mid 90s. Here's the kicker for this version of the game. You had to order it directly from Sega's online store. Only the most dedicated of fans were buying this and because there weren't many dedicated fans, this game is far and away the rarest title on the North American Sega Saturn. The manual, which is simultaneously the game's cover art, is easily distinguished from the other copies because Sega cheaped out and made it colorless. This is without a doubt one of the coolest things you could have in your collection, and it'll only cost you like nine grand if you buy it right now. True Patriots own Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition Netlink Edition, and you can't tell me otherwise. Want to take the patriotism one step further? This game was a US exclusive. It doesn't get much better than this. Now here's the most exciting one on the list. I've truly saved the best for last because most of y'all have never heard of this and it's also a game that truly represents the sheer culture of America. How could this great country live on without its NASCAR? Now despite its historical importance to this nation, we as collectors find ourselves passing on NASCAR titles when we see them at stores or on eBay. They're lumped into that common sports garbage category in our brains, but let me blow your mind today while I share with you an Xbox 360 and PS3 title that's pretty freaking un common and pretty freaking cool. NASCAR 14 is a game you can grab for $10 any day of the week. There are lots of store exclusive variants typical of games from this era, but one store absolutely took the cake with what I've seen called the limited edition version of the game, and that store was Walmart. This variant released with a freaking NASCAR 14 diecast car inside of a big box. Holy crap. You know we love some big box variants on this channel. Everyone actually buying this to play in 2014 was like, oh, let me get the GameStop special version so I can get the cool Saints Row themed DLC car. And that's why literally no one was out here getting this Hot Wheels freaking variant. I mean, what kid playing NASCAR on Xbox cared about die-cast cars? There isn't much information on this variant at all, but according to ShackNews.com, this was a pre-order exclusive. I imagine that wasn't entirely true. You probably could have just walked into Walmart and picked this variant up for months after the game launched, but who knows? It's hard to tell the value on this one. Price charting has the 360 version valued at $100, and that's probably about right. There are a couple of PS3 copies listed right now for $120 each. My tip for you is when you're making your save search for this game, don't bother putting limited edition in there because nowhere on this game does it actually say limited edition. Some sellers do list it as such, but you will definitely have more luck leaving leaving those words out. Regardless, this is a true American game if I've ever seen one, and we all ought to keep an eye out to add this to our collections. Uncle Sam would be proud to see this on your shelf. Those are my five American games for you on this fine Independence Day. Keep an eye out. You never know. You could be the guy catching your local game store slipping on a copy of Daytona USA Championship Circuit Edition Netlink Edition. I want to know which of these games you're learning about for the first time and which ones you already have as a part of your Land of the Free collection. So please drop a comment or join the Discord. I'm currently working on a sequel to my 10 potentially collectible Nintendo Switch games where I'm going to cover 10 more games. The script is already done for that, but I've got about 10 hours worth of B-roll and editing to put in so it's going to be a little bit before that comes out. That's why I wanted to get this fun little video out in the meantime. If you want to see content like this a little bit early, you can become a channel member for just $2 a month, and you get some other really cool perks as well. And if you want exclusive collecting videos, I actually have a $4 tier now. You can see all the amazing people who support me on the screen right now. And with that, I bid you farewell, Patriots. Thank you all for watching and supporting, and I will see you guys next time right here on Bird Dog Gaming.